Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures. Today we're back with another Grim Skull release. We have the Mechanic Adept Dark Priest. Because I had a hell of a time trying to get the Magus Domine put together. Uh, trying to figure out how to get all her legs and parts attached. Figured why not make the even cooler evil version. So this is a totally different model, but this is their Dark Mechanicus stand-in. And as of right now, we don't have a whole lot of Dark Mechanicus models. It'd be them official Games Workshop or Forge World or third party either. So nice custom base as always from Grim School. So ventilation shaft and wouldn't be a Grim Skull release without some skulls there. And let's see what we are getting ourselves into this time. I don't think this model has any optional parts. That's one regret I had building the Domino was I really would have liked to have used your pistol. I'm saving it for a special occasion here. All right, what do we got? So we've got the abdomen right here. She doesn't look as big. Now, obviously, she's going to be on a big 50 millimeter base as well, and I'll see if I can drag my domino down here when it's time. Not yet. But as always, the sculpt quality is quite nice. I don't see any real flash issues there so she's going to attach like so oh there's some flash oh my goodness I think we're okay not if you can hear me and then she's got her cool little staff of command here and then we've got a nice clawed hand and there's oh, I hope something's in focus it looks like something's supposed to attach there and I don't know what Maybe the skull? I don't know. We'll figure it out, though. Ah. Here we go. Maybe she's supposed to have these two hands there attached. That makes sense. It looks like that works. She's got a loincloth full of skulls. It's going to go... Is there a spot for it? I don't know. Maybe that's not where it goes. Is it a chest covering? I don't know. We'll figure that out. The real fun part is going to be figuring out where all of her legs go. How many does she have? Did I get them all? Nope. So it wasn't bad enough with the four on the Domine. Now we have six. So we have a six-legged insect-like Dark Mechanicus model here. So I am going to try and attempt to figure this out. I'm curious if they all have designated spots. It looks like they might. Some of them have different plugs. You can see where they're keyed up. It's like a half circle, and that's more of an oval. What do we have on this side? A triangle, a circle, and I don't know. So, okay, maybe it won't be as bad as I had hoped. <laughs> I mean, expected. Not as I hoped. I don't hope for it to be bad at all. All right, I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to get those clippers. We're going to put her together, and we're going to see what she looks like. Woohoo. After much meticulous care into figuring out which leg goes in which spot, we've got our Dark Priest Mechanic Adept all done. And she's a pretty cool model, i got to say. It's funny because she's got a really big base. It's a 50 millimeter base, but she feels kind of small and insignificant. And I don't know why. Yeah, she is bare chested. So if you wanted to snip those nipples off, I guess, and paint over it, you could. I had the hardest time figuring out where this servo skull was supposed to go. It actually is like kind of curling out of this port right here behind her arm and looking behind her. I couldn't figure that out at first. I had to actually go look online and figure that out. She's got the two hands here. I didn't actually attach this loincloth despite its huge pile of skulls on it. It actually is really easily removable and it's probably going to be easier to paint everything and naturally I don't want to attach it to the base just yet because it's going to be a pain in the rear trying to paint underneath all those legs. <coughs> Sorry, I'm still getting over this cold. Interestingly enough, I don't know if there's like a pre-marked spot that she's actually supposed to go on the base. There's a couple of like little holes and crevices every 
so often here and there around the base. But she does seem to pose in multiple spots, just the way the legs are all positioned. And the legs all kind of lock in. There's no real fiddliness or modularity in where they're going to go. They all kind of end up touching somewhere. So I think as long as you've got at least, you know, three or four legs touching the base, I don't think it's really going to matter where you actually place her. And I'm sure people are curious just how big she is compared to the for lack of a better word, good guy version, the dominate they made, like, the maid. And here's the two of them side by side. So while the Magos Domine, or whatever they called her, I don't even remember, uh, the female, the good one, the imperial version, she's got a little bit more heft to her, I guess. I don't actually have her glued together. I just kind of have her sitting there on the base because um, that's going to be another major pain trying to get her all glued together and painted. This is not happening. So they are quite different in both their styles, and I think that's a good thing. Uh, you probably are going to have a hard time fitting them both into one army, but you know, it's obvious like one of them's a bit more chaosy than the other. So I'm I'm definitely looking forward to having her painted up with all my other Black Legion stuff that I've been doing with the Grim Skull stuff. So. Definitely a cool model, and I absolutely love and encourage to see Grim Skull branching out and making things that nobody else has really made a whole lot of for the tabletop, yet it fits in so wonderfully with the things we've already got. So kudos to them. Keep up the good and interesting work, and I will put a link down in the description below in case you've never checked out their stuff. They have quite an extensive and interesting line of sometimes cheesecakey sometimes pulpy, always interesting models that would definitely fit within the 40k universe. So with that said, this is High Lord Tamburlaine with Obscurities and Miniatures, and we'll see y'all later. Bye for now.